going back now to, to Mike Wake from our guest here with us. Um, Mike, while we're on the subject of county games, you were telling what it was to come unstuck first game? Yes, very disappointing, Mel. Um, I have my own views, but, but I have to say, first of all, being a county selector for a number of years, I know what it's like to be criticised. <clears throat> However, in saying that, I was slightly surprised at two or three things, really. Um, I said for many, many years on the county selection committee that one of the problems that I've seen, not necessarily just by my own county, by, by other counties as well, is the ability, it seems, not to think clearly about the opposition might do. Now, you were talking to Jimmy about Manchester United. How many times do you read in the press that Alex Ferguson has selected his team because he's looking at what the opposition may provide? If I can give you an example. Warwick and Worcester were drawn against North Midlands in the first game. If I'd have been a North Midlands county selector, the first objective I would have thought was to, to, to get a good plus. And obviously, one of their best greens, probably their outstanding green, is Bedworth. So on the assumption that they would take Warwick and Worcester to Bedworth, then the Warwick and Worcester selectors should have considered, in my opinion, where can they match that plus? Okay, first thing to say is that Warwick and Worcester Wayside did extremely well to Old Bedworth to 25 on that green. But then, do you experiment in the first game of the season? If you do, do you then go to a green where the club who used that green are known as the Yo-Yo Club in Warwick and Worcester, which tells you straight away that the players who regularly practice on there can't win at home very often over the past three or four years. So how do you expect county players who in reality spend, what, two, three, four days on a green to practice it, to perhaps be confident? And one other comment, I think, that, uh, and I've suffered from this when I was in the county side, probably one of the top five players in Warwick and Worcester is Steve Freer, and who was a member of the Greyhound for many years and was always a single-figure card. But I think when pressurised in a county game, the expectancy being on that lad at number one to get you a good score is probably something that most of us may find difficult. But of course all this adds up to the fact that we're now behind in the stakes, if you like, and we've got problems. I don't know where the next venue is, but of course the North Midlands, equally, they're already in front and they've got green like Dunlop, Cowden to come and can use. And one final comment, someone said to me, well, perhaps in the Warwick and Worcester case, they were saving the greens. Well, they may have been, but saving greens when you've lost the first game creates you a problem all the way through, yeah. in my opinion. Uh -huh. Someone just put a uh, note up on the screen saying that um, they thought the ground was a good venue. They did actually have nine winners on there. Well, we may have had nine winners on there, but it didn't win them the match. Mm. And you know, it, it, <laughs> it's the same as Liverpool today. They've played the Albion and won 2-0, but they haven't won the Premier League. No. Manchester United have won it. it yeah. It's results that count and it's yeah. results that matter. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think Warwick was to go chance again through now? As I say, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the next green. I don't know the team. Players are good it's enough. South York, is it? it is South Yorkshire, yes, and we've beaten them in the past. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, um, we have the players. We, we've proved that. Um, whether they can apply themselves on the day and whether the psychological aspect of the first defeat will play a part, I, I, I don't know. South Yorkshire, of course, have got a plus of 62. Yeah. So they're also in the driving seat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody just put on here, do you think the players perhaps weren't quite good enough that were selected? Very difficult. Um, no, I, I, I think we do have some very good players. We do, like most counties perhaps, have one or two who think they're good uh, and can't stand the pressure. Um, but that applies to us all. I mean, you know, you've made enough of county appearances, and I have, that it is a different situation. A county player is a different animal, in my opinion. You know, you're not playing in front of your own club colleagues, you're playing sometimes in front of 200 people, and they all want you to win, and most of them can be better than you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first game and the DOA performance are better as a quality. Oh, one. yes, yes, as I said, I thought that was a, 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 you know, I mean, that's known as a graveyard, really, over there. I mean, I've seen county teams uh, lose significantly on that green. Although Jimmy Darby just said the uh, the weather probably held the key a little bit. I mean, oh, it does. It I mean, that's right. You know, I mean, the, Comment on the screen here that they seem to think the next games might be on forgetting that. 
Well, I would, I would contend that's where the first game should have been, yeah. because confidence brings confidence. We've won it on there. So, you know, be confident, and, and I thought that's where we would go, yeah. uh, but, you know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's the counter, just change the subject a little. I mean, over the years, you, you've no doubt seen many changes, both good and bad, in, in your, through your bowlers' well comment column, you've made various comments. Um, you've always had some very honest opinions. I mean, we had Ron Alter on a few weeks ago, and he voiced his concerns that the game was lost its way a little bit and needs freshening up, what, what are your thoughts? You can't revive a corpse, that's my thought. At this moment in time, this game is declining at a rapid state. I've seen no, no article in a bowls magazine at the moment about the concern over the number, for example, pubs that we're losing in this area. That's one concern. Competitions are dwindling. But a bigger problem than all of that is the ability to find the people to administrate the game. Because if you look around most of the local leagues and at national level, many of the people are at my age. Where are the younger people? They might be coming forward to play, but where is the contribution coming to take the game forward into the future? They're not there. You know, The Mel Evanses of this world, who organise several competitions, are not there any longer. And they are, and, and obviously there are people like yourself, Mel. And we've got to find these people, you know. Well, there's a, there's a note on the screen here. So that there's so the comps in the Midlands have been increasing this year. There have been one or two new ones. Good to see Summers is back again, isn't it? You know? It is, yes. And but I, but I come back to my original comment. Yes, I can remember when they were twelve, and when people who were the average players used to go a game, uh, go along for a game for a night out, and there were people at the clubs concerned who would be prepared to take their turn in volunteering to, on the night, referee, look after. They're no longer there at the moment, and that's why some of the competitions have failed. Yeah, particularly as say some of these turn up on the night ones in there. Correct. I mean, Mandy's just put on here that she says that the people are there organising. Like Mandy does you know, a great job in what she's done there. Mm -hmm. But as you say, a lot of the competition debates every night turning up is difficult to get people to do those, aren't they? When oh, you're yeah. running competitions over a, a month at night, you know. Yeah. I think Mandy, yes. I mean, she's one of the few. But, but that are dwindling, uh, mm. you know. Yeah, they are, as you say. 